All right, so we're in southern Arizona hunting coos deer. And on the way down here and previous to this trip, I've been reading this book, Deer of the Southwest by Jim Heffelfinger. And we'll put the link in the description uh, where you can get that book. Super interesting. I've been gleaning all this information off of it and found it really fascinating, the naming of the coos deer. Coos, how most of the locals and how I've heard it pronounced in the past, is probably not the correct way to pronounce it. So these deer were originally named by this guy, C.B.R. Kennedy, who was a surgeon in the army. And so he came down here, saw these new smaller whitetail, and he thought they were a new species, named them Cervus, Cervus mexicanus. Turns out they actually weren't a new species, and this was found out when Dr. Rothrock, apparently doctors are super into like natural history at the time, also a little interesting fact from Jim's book. So anyway, this Dr. Rothrock comes along and uh, names these deer after the naturalist Elliot Coos. And then, weirdly enough, apparently we Elliot Coos' name should be pronounced cows, so they're actually cows deer instead of coos. So that's kind of how they were originally named, but since then they've come up with all sorts of different random names and people call them like desert ghost, rock deer, coos, dwarf deer, coos deer, cows deer, cows, Sonoran dick dick, Sonoran fantail, the gray ghost, gray ghost and the cows and cows, coos white tail, mongolin white tail, blanca venado, many white tail, desert ghost. If there's any names, that I didn't mention, put them in the comments and let us know some other names uh, of what we can call these crazy little ghost-like white tails that are impossible to spot.